All right, what's up everybody? It's Luke with Tailgating Challenger. We are back in the kitchen and we're making ice cream tonight. But not just any type of ice cream. We're making boozy ice cream per your request at home. So today we're gonna make some vanilla ice cream, but we're gonna add a little bit of our fireball concoction over here to it to see how it does. We got our nostalgia electric ice cream maker over here. And now we're gonna get down to business and whip up some boozy fireball ice cream in about 15 to 20 minutes from right now to when it's gonna be ready to eat. Let's get it going. First off, half a cup of milk. All right, then we're doing heavy whipping cream. Also half a cup for this particular recipe. And so next up, we have some of the actual nostalgia ice cream mix that helps. So we're gonna do one cup of that. I say one cup, one fourth of a cup. All right, and now we're gonna start having the fun where we get to make our craft ice cream. Do a little bit of cinnamon because I feel like that goes well with Fireball. Just do a couple of shakes. All right. Little homemade vanilla. Love vanilla. All right, and then last but not least, this is the part, it's the first time we ever made it. Let me just be, be clear, because most of the stuff we do at Tailgate and Challenge, we haven't sat there and perfected it for month after month after month. We have ideas and we want to put them out there so you first time users and cooks in the kitchen can see exactly what it's like the very first time. So now we're getting into the fireball aspect right here. And this is the part that's a little more challenging because, you know, uh, booze doesn't freeze. And so it's a very fine line to be like, yeah, I want this super boozy. All right, so remember, it's been sitting in the freezer. It doesn't freeze, so you don't want to put too much in there. Even if you have those good intentions of making the booziest ice cream in the world, you want it to actually freeze up. We're just going to do a little free pour in there. I'm thinking an ounce or so should be good. We'll start with that and see how it does. All right, so now we're going to mix this all up. Now we're going to put it into our personal pint. All right, we're gonna lock it in. And then it's time to get it started. We'll check back in 15 minutes. All right, it's been a little over 20 minutes now. So remember, whenever you're mixing booze with your ice cream, it's gonna take a little bit longer in the turning process because you know, alcohol doesn't like to freeze. But let's pop this off and you're gonna get our initial reaction to this to see exactly how good, or not, that it tastes. It's pretty creamy coming out of there. Get a little scoop and see. It's pretty good. All right, so vanilla hits me first, and we added some of that vanilla too. Cinnamon, and then there's just a touch of booze on the back. You know, we only put probably a little over an ounce in there, so it's not a lot. You can probably add a little bit more to there depending on your taste, but if you wanna make some craft ice cream of the boozy variety, try the Fireball ice cream recipe that we just dropped for you. Let us know how this goes, and then check out the website at the bottom of the screen right now to see hundreds of fun product reviews like this ice cream maker, fun food recipes, and other fun things too. Follow social media, because what we do is we test stuff just like this ice cream maker, and then we turn around and give you a chance to win it every single week. If you love ice cream and you love booze, it's time for Fireball Boozy Ice Cream.